Hello my dear students. Welcome to the new video. This is class 2 EVS and I am your Pushpama. Children, today we are going to learn chapter 15, time, space and direction. Children, first I will read the chapter and I hope you all are ready with your EVS book. Please take Page number 93. Okay. In this chapter, first there is an exercise you can see here. It is a warm-up exercise. What, are, what is the question? There are 12 months in a year. Write the name of all 12 months. Okay. So, some letters are given here and you have to write the missing letters. This is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. This exercise mainly given to learn the spellings. Children, you please learn the spelling of this 12 months. Okay, let me continue. What is direction? The course that is taken by us to go from one place to another is called direction. There are four main directions. What are they? They are east, west, North and South. Children, these are the main directions. There are four directions. They are East, West, North and South. Okay. So, what is called a direction? They, the course that is taken by us to go from one place to another. This is called direction. Okay, so children I am asking, how do we know the direction's name? There is a trick. Listen, you turn the page, take page number 94. Now look at the child in this picture. He is facing the rising sun. Okay. In this page, you can see one boy is standing. He is facing to the rising sun. Okay. So, he is facing the rising sun. The sun rises in the east. East is in the front. Okay. The sun sets in the west. West is at his back. His left hand points towards the north. And right hands towards the south. Okay. Once again I will read this paragraph. The boy is facing the rising sun. The sun rises in the east. East is in the front. The sun sets in the west. West is at his back. His left hand points towards the north. And right hands towards the south. Children, do you know one thing? West is the opposite side of east. And the south is opposite side of north. So, hope you have learned about the four directions. What are they? East, west, north and south. Okay. Then, what is a map? Have you heard the word? Map? Yes, a map is drawing of a place usually drawn on a flat surface. Look at the map of India. You can see the map of India. Okay. Please observe the four main directions. Can you see? It is written here. The top of the map is north. And the down part is 
south and this path is east and here it is shown as west okay and these are the main direction of our country on the top north down part is south then this part is east and here it is west okay children and in this can you see you can do it yourself this exercise is very easy and i will write uh, read the question fill in the blanks using the words on in left right above and below please do it okay the cat is at the dash of the girl here is a picture you can see one girl is standing and one cat is sitting here so with correct word you have to fill the blank okay so the cat is at the which side of the girl yes of course it is the right side of the girl the cat is at the right side of the girl and her left side there is a ball also so what do you have to write there the ball is at the left side of the girl okay do you understand this one once again i will read the cat is at the right of the girl and the ball is at the left of the girl here one more picture is here, uh, here and something is kept one box is kept on the table and you please fill this blanks also please write the sentence please read it i will read the sentence for you and you please write the answer okay the box is dash the table the box is on the table the box is on the table the doll is dash the box the doll is in the box okay so please write the answer first answer is on and the second answer is in i will repeat the sentence the box is on the table the doll is in the box then the fan is dash the boy's head the fan is above the boy's head and the dog is below the chair you can see the picture the dog is below the chair okay then the next one the road is in front of the house and the house is behind the road okay please do it okay and please turn the page now you take page number 95 okay now we are going to learn about time what do we use to watch the time yeah we use a clock or a watch to to see the time okay a clock tells us time okay children do you know if we want to show a time example if you want to uh, draw 8 o'clock you please how do we make a clock first you make a circle first you make a circle then use a scale scale okay the with the help of a scale you can see here you can write the numbers on just on the top first we will write we will show 12 at just just bottom of this number we will write 6 and here the right side we will show in the middle you please put a 
a mark. You mark it in the center of the circle. You will show, you will draw a mark, a spot. You will make and here you will write number 3. And just opposite of 3, here we will write 9. Okay. Okay. If there is any doubt, you can place backwards this video and you can see it again. And then first we will write here 1. Here we will draw 2. And 3 Already we have written. So now we will write here 4. And here we will write 5. Okay children. And then 6 we have already written here. 6 then we will write here 7. Then 8. Okay. Already 9 is here. So again we will Write here 10, then 11 we will write here. Children, our clock is all, almost ready. Now we will show the needles. Okay. One needle is small. Under what time we are going to show? We are going to show 8 o'clock. So, the small needle we will point to 8 Okay, and the long one, long needle we will show here to 12. Children, this is the time of 8 o'clock. So you can write here, this is 8 o'clock. Okay, so like that, you can draw a clock. Okay, so a clock tells us the time. Our day begins with the sunrise. The time of the day is called morning. When the sun is above our head, we call it midday or noon. 12 o'clock. Noon time means 12 o'clock. After 12 o'clock, we say afternoon. So, the time after 12 o'clock is called afternoon. Okay, children. The sun begins to Set in the evening. Slowly it begins to turn dark and it is night. So, children, what is called a day? Do you know what is called a day? The period of time from sunrise to sunset is called a day. The period of time from sunset to sunrise is called a a night. Children, so I hope you understood the topics time, space and direction. There are four main directions. They are east, west, north and south. So children, I hope you have to read the lesson properly and you wait for the next video. This is the end of today's class.